what is LSMW? LSMW stands for Legacy System Migration Workbench. It is a workbench provided by SAP for data migration and LSMW is the first choice in migrating any data as it can be used by both functional and technical consultant. LSMW provides four different methods for the data migration. It can be used with any database as first we need to download the data into text file from the non SAP system and then text file as per the SAP format we have to upload in SAP. We cannot connect LSMW directly with any third party software or database. As you can see from this image, on the left hand side, we can have any SAP system or non SAP system. First, after downloading the data from the legacy system, we have to convert that file as per the SAP format. And this text file we upload into LSMW. The transition code for LSMW is same as LSMW. On the initial screen, we have to give project ID, sub project, and the object name. We have to give some meaningful name which is easy to understand. For example, for Metal Master, we can give the project as MM, then master data, and then object we can create as a material. Same for the SD model, our project can be SD, then pricing and the best price. There are total 14 steps in the LSMW. The first six are known as the design part. As you can see here, for maintaining object attributes till the maintain fixed value translations and user defined routines. First six are known as the design part and the remaining eight are the execution parts. For any new process, first six steps are mandatory. Once our design is ready, then whenever we want to upload the data, so we can execute the remaining eight steps. Here, as you can see, there are four different object types are provided. First one is a standard batch or direct input method. Second, which is very commonly used, known as BDC, that is batch input recording. Third one is the BAPI method. And the fourth one are IDOC, that is intermediate document. What is a standard batch or direct input method? In case of standard batch input method, SAP has provided predefined objects and methods. As you can see here, there is an object called metal master, and with every object, some program name is attached along with the method. We have to select the pro proper object and the method for the processing. Like here, we can see for the metal master, the object is 0020. For metal bomb, it is 0030. Like this, we have to select the proper object using the F4 help. To use the external direct input method, it required a very basic idea of SAP table and structure. But we should know the complete transition flow, how the particular transition works, for which we are developing this migration object. The advantage of this standard batch input methods, it is well-tested methods and very easy to process. But at the same time, the disadvantage are it is not supported for all the transitions, especially for the new enjoy transitions like ME21N or MIGO, it is not supported. The second 
and a very popular method of LSMW is known as the batch import recording. It is a very popular tool for LSMW. It can be used by both functional as well as technical consultant. Along with that, it can be used for both standard program as well as the custom transaction code. It does not require any programming language. Very basic table and that is such a concept is required. In this method, we actually record one transaction. Then after uploading text file, it is like just a replaying of the recording by taking the new input values from the text file. Compared to direct input method, this method is a little slow as it call the screen for each fail processing. The advantage this can be used for both standard and custom transition. It is very easy to modify. We can run in foreground as well as in background mode. We can see the errors and majorly it does not require any programming knowledge. The third one is known as the business object method that is BAPI. BAPI are well tested function model provided by SAP. SAP guarantee the integrity of our database for anything updated using the BAPI. The advantage of BAPI, BAPI are very fast compared to other methods and it is available for most of the enjoy transaction also like for creating a purchase order, sales order, MIGO, etc. The disadvantage of BAPIs are the BAPI are not available for all the transition and it required a web knowledge. The last one is the IDOC that is intermediate document. IDOC works here as a receiver system. If you already work on early IDOC, so in early IDOC processing, we require two systems. One is sender, second is receiver. So here the frag file works as a sender system and SAP works here as a receiver system. The advantage of IDOC, it is easy to load, low programming knowledge required. We can check the data anytime with the T code W is 02. We can find out the error. We can re trigger the error IDOC with BD87 or WE19. The disadvantage of IDOC, it required good IDOC configuration knowledge. One should know how to configure the receiver system so that the SAP can work as an IDOC receiver end. So to summarize, the LSMW has the following advantage. The first one is flexibility to use different methods. This can be used by both technical and the functional consultant. Migration possible with any database as the final input method for the LSMW is going to be a flat file. The disadvantage of LSMW, it is difficult to debug. We cannot debug as per the normal debugging method of a web program. The coding not possible to perform some complex validation to put, uh, to put some default values or to perform any other condition based values. So this is all about the LSMW workbench.